Hello friends, welcome to the session on amplifiers. In this session, we'll be discussing about how to solve differential equation by using operational amplifier. That is, in this session, we will build electronic circuit for any given differential equation. Friends, as you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Kanade, and do subscribe to the channel to see many more videos on the subjects of electronics and computer science. We know that operational amplifier is a very versatile circuit and it is possible that we can build electronic circuit for any given mathematical operation. We can build the circuit for summer, subtractor, integrator, differentiator and comparator. It is also possible that we can build the electronic circuit by using operational amplifier for any given differential equation. The differential equation is an equation which consists of the derivative terms. For any given differential equation can be solved by using operational amplifier. It means that we can build electronic circuit by using operational amplifier for any given differential equation. The electronic circuit can be built by using the operational amplifier and whenever we want to build the electronic circuit for any given differential equation then we need to make use of the integrator circuit or inverting summer circuits. There are three steps in order to build such circuit. In the first step what we will do is that for any given differential equation we know that the differential equation will consist of some derivative terms. So we will rearrange the equation in such a way that the highest order of the derivative is to be taken on the left hand side and all other remaining terms are to be taken on the right hand side. It is possible that whenever we want to build a circuit then we can make the use of the integrator and whenever we make the use of the integrator then we can obtain the lower derivative terms. Say for example, if we have an integrator and suppose the input to the integrator is d2x by dt square, then it is possible that at its output you can get dx by dt. Now the outputs of the integrator uh, we need to feed to the summer circuit or inverting summer circuit in such a way that we can scale them according to the given differential equation. And when we do this, then you will find that practically we are building the circuit for the complete differential equation. In order to understand these three steps, here what we will do is that we will consider an example of the differential equation. Suppose the given differential equation to us is d2v by dt square plus 20 dv by dt plus 100v minus 25 is equal to zero. Now in the first step we need to rearrange this equation in such a way that the highest derivative d2v by dt square is to be taken on the left hand side and all other terms are to be taken on the right hand side and therefore this equation becomes d2v by dt square is equal to minus 20 dv by dt minus 100v plus 25. Now you will find that it is possible to build the electronic circuit by using five operational amplifiers connected as shown in this figure. In the first step, as I have said to you that we need to rearrange the equation in such a way that the highest order d2v by dt square is to be taken on the left hand side and all other terms are to be taken on the right hand side. You will find that the operational amplifier one or the first operational amplifier is basically an inverting amplifier which has a unity gain. Now 25 is taken as a constant. So this is to be fed to the operational amplifier with unity gain. And therefore you will find that the input resistance and the feedback resistance that is used in the first operational amplifier is of same value. And therefore its input is 25 and its output will be minus 25. You will find that the operational amplifier number two that is being used in the circuit is basically an inverting summer which consists of three input terms. So as shown in this equation it has to consist of three input terms 
and these input terms must be according to the differential equation. Now, the operational amplifier 3 that is being used in the circuit, it is also an inverting integrator circuit. You will find that its output is d2v by dt square and its input is d2v by dt square and its output will be minus dv by dt. So we have rearranged the input resistance and the feedback resistance in such a way that its input is d2v by dt square and its output is minus dv by dt. Because the operational amplifier 2 is basically giving us the term d2v by dt square and therefore this is fed as an input to the operational amplifier 3. Operational amplifier 4 which is used in the circuit is also an inverting integrator. You will find that its input is minus dv by dt while its output will be plus v. So here you can connect the external v to the circuit where v can be a variable. The resistances, input resistances and feedback resistances are so adjusted that when its input is dv by dt, then the output of the operational amplifier number 4 will be equal to v. The operational amplifier 5 which is used in the circuit is an inverting amplifier which has a unity gain. You will find that its input is dv by dt while its output will be minus dv by dt. Since the resistances used in the circuit are of same value, therefore the gain of the operational amplifier 5 is equal to 1. As you can easily observe in the circuit that the outputs of the operational amplifier 1, then 4 and then 5, they are connected together to the input of the operational amplifier 2. Appropriate resistances are used at the input and you can easily note that the operational amplifier 2 used in the circuit is an inverting summer circuit. The resistances, input resistances and the feedback resistances are so adjusted as per the equation so that the output of the operational amplifier 2 is equal to d2v by dt square. That is the output of the operational amplifier 2 is minus 20 dv by dt minus 100v plus 25. So as seen in this example, you will find that any given for any given differential equation, it is possible to make the use of operational amplifier to build the differential amplifier circuit, to build the circuit which can solve the any given differential equation. So thank you friends for viewing the session. Hopefully you have understood how to build the electronic circuit for any given differential equation. Thank you all for viewing.